G'day guys, welcome to another episode of Shanky Garage. My name is Sam. In today's episode, we're just going to be doing something a little bit differently and discuss the costs involved into building a shed similar to this one. So obviously everyone's scenario is going to be a little bit different to mine. I live in Brisbane city, so the cost involved in building in Brisbane is going to be different to say building in South Australia or Victoria. So yeah, please take um, that into consideration. Some other factors to consider will be obviously access to the back of your block, how level your block is for say earthworks, etc. Also, just want to have a bit of a discussion on things that I would do differently next time. I do have a couple of regrets, so we'll talk about that later on in the video. Hopefully, yeah, you get something out of this video and it'll give you a rough idea on what to expect with costs and help you uh, plan you basically your build to optimize the, the best shed for your scenario. Okay, so one of the first costs involved will be council approval. So here in Brisbane, it is $1,400 for the approval. So it's gonna be different state by state, but yeah, here in Brisbane, $1,400. An additional cost on top of that will be relaxation. So basically, if you wanna build your shed as close to your boundary as possible, you will have to pay that relaxation. Otherwise, you'll have to build three, three meters from your back boundary and 1.5 meters from your side boundary. So I wanted to basically get the shed as close as possible to the back of my block. Uh, and then also as close to the side as I can. So I paid that an additional $1,200 for relaxation. So $1,400 for council approval plus $1,200 for relaxation. So the next cost involved will be the earthworks. So with my block, I've got a pretty flat block that sort of slopes slightly to the front of the block so it did cost uh, $560 to get a little excavator in to flatten out the area and build a slight ramp into the shed um, so yeah they, then they could pour the concrete in after that I think it did take out a couple of stumps as well so yeah $560 for earthworks the next cost involved will be the actual concrete so this one is a 10.5 by 6 meter slab and this costs 5100 for the concrete and the labor to basically pour this slab uh, also an additional cost on top of that will be $900 for a concrete pump so the access to the back of my block is pretty narrow, so they weren't able to get a concrete truck through here. So I had to pay an additional $900 for a concrete pump to pump the concrete from the front all the way to the back of the block. Okay, so the next cost will be the actual shed kit itself. So this kit is from Best Sheds and it's a 10.5 meter by six meter by 2.4 meter high shed kit from best shed so i'll put a link in the description um, so if you want to check them out you can um, have a look at their website so yeah this kit was five thousand five hundred and eighty dollars and there was a four week lead time so you order the kit and it takes approximately four weeks so i also paid an additional three hundred and ten dollars for delivery so if you want to save on delivery and you are able to pick up the kit you can basically order the kit and they'll send it to their depot and then you can pick it up from there but i don't have a ute so i basically paid for that um, additional delivery cost of three hundred and ten dollars this is basically what the shed kit looks like so it is actually pretty big and pretty heavy so just take into account if you do pick it up then you will need something to unload it with and yeah you probably will need something bigger than a ute to pick it up with so yeah i'd, I'd probably suggest just pay the 310 dollars and then they've got a forklift that they deliver it with the next cost will be actually putting up the shed kit so the labor involved in yeah, putting it up. So I was away working, but I think there was four guys that come around and just smashed it out in a day. I think they had to come back the next day and fix a couple of things, but yeah, all in all, it was a pretty good effort to, to put this up in one day. So the cost for labor to put up the shed was $2,800. So yeah, you could probably save um, this money by doing it yourself, but for me, um, yeah, it just wasn't worth um, me doing it. I work away and they done it in a day and I come home and it was pretty much all done. So yeah, $2,800 for putting the shed up. <clears throat> the next cost will be the electrical. So pretty much uh, had an electrician come around and he dug a trench from the house 
uh, to the shed and ran the electrical underneath the ground there. At the same time, he also ran uh, water from the house as well to out into the shed as well. So I've got electrical and um, and water that basically comes up comes up here and then into the shed. So all up, I've got 10 power points um, all around the whole shed. So plenty of power points. Um, you definitely cannot have enough power points. So yeah, 10 all up, all around the, the workshop, um, double, double power points. Um, this one over here is a 15 amp for the compressor. Um, so got all the, um, you know, Clipsal circuit board, um, conduit, it's all um, good quality product from Clipsal there. Uh, I've got LEDs that run um, all the way along the shed there. So six LEDs all up. So yeah, all the electrical was $4,000. So $4,000 run the, um, the wiring from the house to the shed, um, all conduited, um, 10 power points and all LEDs. Also with the electrical, he also ran a uh, light out the, the front here, a sensor light. Okay, so just to recap, we've just got $1,400 for the approval, $1,200 for relaxation, we've got $560 for the earthworks, $5,100 for the concrete, $900 for the concrete pump, the shed kit was $5,580 and the delivery was $310 of the shed kit. Um, then we've got the build of the shed, so labor, so $2,800, and then all the electrical works was $4,000. So this comes to a total of $21,850. Okay, so just going to have a bit of a talk on things that I would do differently next time. And this point is probably the biggest one, I think. Um, biggest regret is for me is the the height of the shed so i ordered the 2.4 meter kit and there is one above that which is 2.7 uh, meters which is 300 millimeters um, extra in height and i think that would make um, a hell of a lot of difference there so uh, this roller door is 1930 high so if you do have a full drive and it's probably got like a lift kit or something on it then you're probably not going to get it in this um, roller door so yeah definitely go that 2.7 meter high kit um yeah biggest regret i think and um i think it's an additional 500 or 600 dollars to go that extra height but yeah definitely worth it uh, okay, so probably the second biggest regret would be uh, not making a driveway um, into the shed. So I do plan on eventually concreting out here um, a bit of a driveway into the shed. But if I thought about it, I probably should have done it at the same time as the concrete was poured for the shed. That way I would have saved um, costs on, you know, have, not having to get a, a concrete pump in for the second time and just got it all done at once and it just would have saved me money in the long run. So yeah, it's no, it's no biggie because I can get it done um you know down the track but it just would have been cost effective to do it all at the same time as the um concrete um slab okay so just the third regret would be just not getting a electric roller door put on to to this uh roller here so yeah this is my daily driver so it would be good just to be able to drive in and um you know hit your remote and then the the uh, roller door comes up and it's not not a huge issue because i can always get this put in later on and i'll probably will do that but yeah just would have been better just to get it done at the start okay so all in all i'm pretty happy with how the shed has come out i think it come in at a pretty reasonable price for the size so yeah if you have got something out of this video then i uh, appreciate a like and subscribe also, if you are watching this video and you have built a shed before, um, leave any suggestions uh, in the comment section, just on anything that you may have done different or um, suggestions uh, to help someone else out that may be looking at building a shed in the future. So yeah, um, end of the video guys. So hope you did enjoy and um, we'll see you next time. Cheers.